sort of a class then such sort of a class is a concrete class we saw our work class which was alpha auto hyphen uh, work which was a concrete class right this is something that we saw and also we saw that there are three options for a concrete class which is is a class group does not belong to a class group and belongs to a class group these are the three options we saw yes or no right okay perfect so and also we understood abstract classes are something which we can't instantiate and it is more to do with Yesterday we saw the concrete classes and as well as uh, abstract classes and then we saw what is a work class all about right in the same way we also found out there are like you know predefined classes as well as user defined classes all these classes are user defined classes right we saw that on a day before yesterday uh, what are predefined and user defined classes at the rate base class all the classes which pega provides you out of the box in the sense which gets shipped as part of the product are predefined classes you guys are able to see my screen right perfect okay so we have clarity on that so today we'll move one topic ahead uh, now that we have understood we spent a decent amount of time understanding classes we'll move one step ahead to see what are the properties all about in pega right uh, to do that i know that we have the crowd which is which is a few understand software to don't understand software so the example which we had taken was the uh, insurance uh, application right so just going back just in your real lives day-to-day -day lives right when someone gives you a for uh, his phone number for example you meet for example you met me and if i give you my phone number what do you do you open your phone and you feed that data yes or no into your phone and hit save but when you try to feed that data don't you get fields where you put in for example first name last name phone number home phone mobile work and stuff like that but there are like you know fields against which you will be filling for example in the same way i have year make model here in the same way you also get a form like this when you try to store your store the number right yes or no all these fields can also be called as properties in IT. In programming, all the fields we put data in are called properties or variables or fields yesterday when we tried to create class we also use these properties right for example when we did the sample with respect to car or for example here when we tried defining the car class we are calling this as properties right color tires brakes all these are properties right for a class similarly any application which you try to use has properties why do we need this in order to store the data for example if you ask me why do we need, need these properties this is to store the data right yes or no agreed very good so whatever we try to do with data will need properties okay this should be our understanding for example if i ask you to design a form you know let's say you are studying in a college you want to collect a survey on one of the events what do you do you create a form and you put some fields there right to understand which college they came from and stuff like that all those fields are nothing but properties there are some properties you know a property for the first name property for last name like that are we understanding what is properties all about 
from here on it starts getting slightly easier because we are going much deeper into day-to-day uh, -day stuff but it will also help you you can relate to it so anything to do with data in pega will be driven by a data model what does that mean all such data capture happens in a category called data model data model is a category in pega pega what do i mean by this is for example when i log into pega and i go into uh, sorry records there is a category called data model do we see this is it visible guys perfect from the developer studio when you try to go to records and see there is a category called data model under which anything with respect to property gets categorized under data model why it is where uh, it is what we use to capture data first thing second thing uh, it is like your application has a lot of data to be uh, captured you know when you try to build an application there is a lot of data to be captured. for example when you go to enroll into aadhaar they will ask you hundreds of things you know you have to fill the, those details and that has to be stored somewhere to do that you will need properties you know to capture that you need properties for example these are uh, when i try to click on property this shows me list of properties which are already there as part of the system now let's try to see our data model the data model which we built you know other day we can see that but before going there i'll also introduce something else uh, for you so any property for example where the property type belongs to uh, let's say let me okay let me show you that first and then i'll tell you in detail right uh, let me go to app explorer and let me click right click on this guy and go to view data Perfect. So now here if you can see these are the properties which automatically got created. See we didn't create this but Pega has already created these for us. For example there is something called as PY ID, PY description, PY label. Just look at it as if, as if like some properties and if you see in the type it tells single line text 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 type property. These are text type property like we chose string for these properties you remember. Anything with respect to text or string is something similar, which stores text value is what it means. In the same way, in Pega, they are calling it directly as text. It's nothing but as a string. Don't worry about that. I'll tell you, talk about the types also. Just understand that properties are something which are necessary to capture the data, right? Let's try to open this property PYID, which got created for us. If you see, very important, just focus here. I just opened one of the properties and then when I try to, if I want to see what kind of rule form does this belong to, I can understand that from here. When you open the, any, any rule, there is actions tab which you get and then from here, you can click on view XML. Okay. And you can look for something called as PX ODJ class. This is the property which will tell you and what is the kind of the whatever rule you are trying to use what sort of class does it belong to so you just see this it tells that the property rule belongs to rule obj property feels like fancy but i'll help you understand what this means do we agree that every piece of property we, uh, anything you create has to belong to a class in programming did we see that it has to ultimately belong to a class. So any property rule in Pega is uh, sorry, belongs to rule hyphen obj hyphen property class. In the sense, all the properties which you create are you know are instances of this class is what they are saying. Just understand it like that. Okay. We will see in detail what this means actually. Right. But for now, understand that every property rule in Pega belongs to R 
is instance of rule obj property class and how do i get to know which for example in the same way uh, we saw other rules also right for example uh, property is the first rule we are seeing that's right uh, there are other rules also i can show you with respect to those as well See in this thing you would not see see in the same way the class rule belongs to rule obj class do you see this this is our work class right do we agree alpha alpha auto work so this is my work class and this belongs to rule obj class rule type and property belongs to rule obj rule obj property rule type do you understand perfect okay so i mean i know it's it won't be like crystal clear uh, hold on there hold on the thought like we are as we are going ahead we'll try to understand it uh, in much detail so why do we need these properties at runtime to capture data right from user inputs yes or no when someone gives the first name last name we need to capture it we need to save it somewhere right at runtime in the sense for example if so you are trying to feed in your someone's phone number in your phone at runtime you are trying to write first name last name and phone number and then when you hit save what happens it gets saved into your phone memory or your sd card yes or no the same operation is what we are trying to do here it's just that here we will have a bigger database it's not your phone memory of 1 gb 2 gb or 64 gb it would be a much bigger database because we are dealing with a huge volume of data does it make sense perfect okay now in pega what are the property types does pega support for example what does this mean property types so when you're trying to take for example if you are enrolling into facebook how many first names do you, will you have only one agreed only one so all such properties where you have only one one instance or one value for that for example first name last name phone number all these are single values do we agree such properties are called single value properties in pega is it too complex to understand a property which can hold one value at a time single value properties you will use a lot of single value properties you know lot of single value properties in the same way you know there is something called as page property in pega page properties what are these for example let's say uh, you are getting uh, you are enrolling few students into your system and you have a form for each and every student every page will be corresponding to that particular student right one student right yes or no so such uh, for example for one student you will have one single form right such properties you will be categorizing it as single page properties where set of data about one single student is captured set of data about one student will be captured i'm just giving you an example okay we'll see what exactly this means in the implementation also single page you understood what is a single page right in single page what will you have for example first name last name you know phone number stuff like that all that in one page is single page property there is something called as and this page can have hold multiple properties right first name last name everything in a page you can have multiple single value properties you can have multiple single value properties do we agree like first name 
last name right phone number email right aadhar stuff like that address yes or no perfect so now let's say i want details of 10 students you know i need a list of 10 students with all these details then i need to have 10 single single pages like this right yes or no So such sort of list will be called as page list in Pega. Very important. Set of single pages in the sense, for example, let's say student, we need a list of 10 students. Okay. Student.px results. of one I'm just showing it for five one two three four five this will have whoever is the first user his first name last name but it will be under one list do you understand second users third users does it make sense what is a page list we'll see that also just before that i am giving you the theoretical understanding of what is a page list all about can hold multiple pages right with every page has multiple single value properties and those pages are contained in this student list do we agree okay so hang in there i'll take you slightly on a tangent there is something called as page group also so there are chances sometimes you know when you try to group some data for example in a folder or something you you won't write it like one two three four in with index sometimes you also might write you know uh, student dot px results of myself that's it and then This could be what is the difference between this list and this list? Can you tell me? very good so if you see here it is driven by in the indexes are driven by numbers however here the index is driven by string or text do we agree won't we do that for example if i am keeping a file of records sometimes i name it one two three four and stuff sometimes i write names depending upon what is comfortable for me don't we do that Yes, so in the same way in software also sometimes indexes will suffice your requirement in the sense this will be sufficient for your requirement. But sometimes you will need this thing. For example, if you are doing for certain division, you know, you are doing an implementation, we are capturing data only for a certain division and then you want names as part of the index, then you will need implementation like this. Do we understand what is a page list and a page group at a high? Okay, perfect. So a page list. Cool. Uh, no, it is group of pages, but distinguished by a subscript. 
or a text like this it's it's again single page you know this is one page this is one page this is one page this is one page so five pages are together under this group student group same way five pages five single pages are clubbed under this particular student list so this is called it's nothing but list of pages it has list of pages like list of uh, student uh, student forms one two three four five six this is one single form these are five forms you know but they are all under this particular guy student are you able to understand okay perfect so these are the property the important property types there are some others also which are not necessary but i'll also mention them so you won't be surprised if you hear anywhere you you won't use it but i'll just let you know there are there are these are advanced property types you know advanced properties in pega which is you know value list from a value group uh, value group i will show a couple of examples we don't worry about this just focus on single uh, single value properties you know single value properties are something which will hold for example first name is a single value property single page property is something which holds multiple single value properties first name last name phone number email other address one single page for example vishwas is one student and his details if i have to just pick up only those details from db from the database and then i have to populate on somewhere then i'll be using a single page for example if i have to look for all the students who are there for example here i have whoever is there sita naglakshmi saddam vishwas ashok atik and nizam then what will i use can i put it on a single page no right i will need a list right or a group depending upon how i want to categorize them yes or no that's the understanding that is the understanding you should be taking from here how this is done don't worry about that right now we are just trying to understand what are property types okay next thing how do we add this in pega how can we create or add properties in pega to create or add properties in pega there are few ways i'll just show you those so we can understand them and move ahead And I think there are three ways, I guess. One is what category does the property rule come under? Very good. So if you see here, if you already done the installation, you will see under records, you will see these many categories these are the categories which you will need to be aware of you will get a lot of questions like where does this come under for example we saw classes where do they come under this admin yes or no perfect so this is how you should keep remembering stuff and then for properties they roll up on the data model in the same way if i have to see what is organization name see it could have comes under organization category not too fancy it's very easy you just have to like you know map it in your head and remember it okay so to access any property i will have to go to data model category and then click on property okay from here uh, we can create a property how we can open this and i can click here create and i can create a property this is one way to create single value or page property anything i can do from that i can click create and i can do i'll show that and also you can do a quick create uh, where uh, you can do just one property or you can do multiple properties there is something called as uh, multiple property wizard also using which also we can create properties we'll do all those okay let me see where exactly i have to paste it this is 8.7 just type the new let us see where it is see property tree perfect so let's try one and let us see let's try to understand how exactly it is being created now uh, let us close everything else we don't need anything else right now perfect refresh login now we are here now let us say you have to create a property how will we create a property is what we'll see okay um, 
let's say we have to create a single value property for our application we'll add a single value property for example first name uh, is what we can create and we will add to it and let me go to app explorer and then Here I'll do the data design. I think I showed this already. Perfect. I can come here. This wizard will open when I do view data designer. This wizard will open in the sense it will show you all the properties which are present for this class. Do we agree? Under this class, these properties are created. We'll create few and also understand it much better way. Hold on okay let's say i want to create add few fields okay let's say do you see this add field icon i'll show you once again what we did came to app explorer on my work class i right clicked i opened view data designer okay and then these are the properties which Pega are automatically created for us when we created the application now we want to add first name last name age and stuff like that to this application let us say let's say i want to add first name okay do you see this pop-up when i click on add field it gives me this pop-up it's asking me hey what is the field name you want for this particular property let's say i want to name it first name i'll just name it first name okay and first name the name property is it an integer it is a decimal what is it text right text stack right perfect so this is how you will understand if anyone asks you what sort of data model will this be you should be able to distinguish looking at the data you will be able to understand right for example if i have to write details about my uh, background i won't use a single line i will use something like back i'll use a paragraph right similarly it, uh, first name is a small property with just single line so i'll be using this text single line property do we understand how we choose the uh, the data type this type is nothing but a data type data type in the sense what type of data are you trying to save here it's a text data which i i want to say now i can here tell okay i'm okay with just one property and submit or i can say submit and add another is what i can say this will help me create multiple properties see i can just do submit it will just add me one property for example i'll show you this hold on see it added me this property do you see where in which under which layer this got created yeah. alpha auto insurance application it's a custom property which we created for our application are we able to understand perfect now mm -hmm. we are doing under work class very good yes we are doing it under work class very good so now no to understand yeah i mean there are few properties you will need under work class there will be some properties which you will need under data class there will be a few properties which you will need under integration classes but right now just understand this is how we are creating properties and yes we are right now doing it under work class okay the significance i'll teach you later right now just understand how to create properties in pega okay perfect now i did i just added one property and i told okay now let's say i want to add multiple properties i will say first name and then we also need a last name right everyone has a last name also very important or else you won't identify them i say last name is also a single value property do we agree perfect now let's say i want to add few more i'll do submit and add another see it won't close and it won't be popping up you don't have to again come and yet click add field automatically it will give you the next property let's say age is something which you are capturing what is the age of the guy who is want to want to get insured what is age is it a text property integer number or integer numbers in programming are called as integers do we see that if you have in in your childhood math you would know that integers decimals fractions stuff like that you have heard just for numbers another name is integer 
if there is a dot you will go for something like that if there is true or false you will call that boolean stuff like that okay very pretty simple agreed so now i'll do submit and add another i want to capture this guy's email also let's say okay i want to capture email id also what is email id text right it is also a text but pega what they have done they have told okay if you have something specific we have created a data type for that see they have created a data type for that there is something called as email what does this do if you see when you try to give anything other than email while logging in it will throw you an error telling that oh this is not a valid email right because it's there is no at the rate in that or it identifies that so that thing to do achieve that they have created a uh, type a data type for email specifically and we can make use of that email right perfect let's say i want to get phone number also okay phone number okay what is phone number uh uh type let's try to see what what it has to offer okay yes it is phone i just want to show you guys you know this also exists to check if my server is down what's like So for phone number, you will be using something called as phone and then we will also need sometimes, you know, lists from which we can pick up some data, for example, a drop down from where we can pick up some data. Environment came down, perfect. Okay, it's okay. Now we have for phone, we do have phone, right? We added phone. Just throwing error, let's add that. Do we see all the fields appearing here, which we created? Perfect. Once this is done, it is our duty to click save. Don't assume there is auto save on any feature in Pega. You know they might implement, but still, it's always safe to save. If you don't save, you lose out on a lot of work. Okay? So remember to save. Perfect. Next thing. There are properties sometimes where you will have to pick from a list of values, right? For example, country, right? It's not a text. You usually click on a drop down and you pick up some property, yes or no, right? So for such properties, if you see, Pega provides something called as, you know, uh, for drop down uh, facility, they do provide, uh, let's say, country okay and this can be uh, not necessarily radio buttons you for countries you won't be using radio buttons you but you will be picking it from a list okay if you see here there is something called as pick list right radio buttons usually for example male or female because there are only two values for example if i have to implement for countries if i implement radio buttons do you imagine how many uh, radio buttons i will need on a screen does it make sense right very good so what i did i'll show you again cancel okay i wanted to add a feed which has a list i want to call it country okay and while submitting i want to choose pick list why because it's 
going to be a list of values of which I want to pick something. For example, if I have to pick India, I'll be picking it from a list of values. And what I have to do, I have to specify my choices. The list of countries is a constant thing, right? It's not going to change over time. There are no new countries getting added every day. So I can make a list. So in choices, if you see, I came here and I didn't do anything. I'm just showing you. I, I, I chose pick list and Pega automatically gave me. It is telling me, oh, while display, display as in the sense, while it is going to display you, it is telling it will be a drop down list. And he is telling it is a local list. In the sense, you can provide options for that and you can add the values here is what he is saying, which is fine. Okay. Which is perfectly fine. Let's give few values here for now. Let's say my country, India. Uh, let's not take the neighbor's name. Let's call China. And let's say Australia because India is going to Australia for T2. Okay. So I added these three values and let me say okay. Submit. Click save. As I said. Now, do you see all the properties appearing here? Perfect. So we were able to add all these properties to this thing, right? Now, let me close this, right? And then let's right click here and refresh. Do you see an additional category getting added here? We just had sysadmin. We see two other categories getting added and the, the data model category which we used to identify properties got added under my work class. And when I expand it, see the magic? Age, country, email ID, first name, last name. Were these the properties which we created today? Right? And they are appearing in my data model category under my class under which we created it. Yes or no? So we saw one way of creating like creating single property as well as multiple properties. We saw it how we opened the data designer and we were able to create that. Right? We opened it, add a field and we were able to do it. Yes or no? From here. Also, we can use another approach to create property. How is that? On data model, you know, you can right click and say create and say property okay let's say we also want to capture um, gender okay gender of the applicant we are trying to capture okay and i'll call it G -E -N -T -E -R, gender. make sense like we usually capture that right the gender of the applicant we do that so i'm trying to capture that thing and if you see the context context in the sense which application are you going to save this property in so i'm telling okay auto insurance because all my work i'm trying to do is my implementation application so i'm telling auto insurance should have this property where does this property set or go into it's like you know telling exactly this thing under car you want to have color property under work class i want to have gender property yes or no Right. And there is something called as rule set and version. We will be seeing that not right now. Just understand this part that okay, a property is getting created under this class. Okay, and we are creating a gender property. Let me say create and open. Okay, now you see the type of this property is text here. Yes or no? Gender is usually text, right? Male, female is text, but on the user interface. How do you want it? You don't want it to be written, right? You want to choose from radio button. Someone told, I want to choose from a radio button, right? Don't you think here is where we need to use radio buttons because it's the options are only two. I mean, previously it were two. Now we have three, four. I mean, three or four is max is what it is, right? So let's try to change that. How can I do that? 
that is a display option you are asking for you want a radio button on your display on a ui right so if you see here it's clearly written there is a ui control which you can make use of to change that and if i can remove that and look up for something called as radio buttons there is something called as px radio button which you can use see this we can choose this radio buttons okay and then what should be the values for this thing you know it should be true or false no i do not true or false i want a local list which tells male and female Does it make sense how we can create properties? You can use local list or also you can use prompt list. There is something called prompt list also. This will prompt certain values, you know, and you can tell standard value as M and property value as A. Just showing you how, what are different ways you can create, you know values f and email. okay and then i'll say save make sense Are we able to understand how exactly we can create properties? Now let's try to add one more property. Mm. I think we need to do this, 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 this. Number. This will also appear. Gender will appear. I think pin code is something which we have. Let's do this. Okay. Let's add pin code. And to do that, I'll do the same way. Right which is a right click on data model create property let's say it is right. these values you already understood the context is going to be auto -experience. And then I will say create. Perfect. Right. Next. I think we can change it to integer radius or we can do with text also that's fine so do we understand how to create properties in pega okay perfect let's close this and so two approaches we saw one is from a designer and right clicking and creating through create property there is also one more option here which is called create properties if you want to create multiple properties on a go you can do that also right and i'm just showing you how what are the different ways from where you can using which you can create properties you see all the properties we have created are appearing here yes or no age country work status you name it everything is appearing here i think the gender is not it's not refreshed that's why it's not appearing here right click on data model and i'll say create properties see from here also you will get your designer and what we can we add now this
let's say we want state city and stuff like that right Create properties is what I told. Okay, I can add uh, city state is something I can add. Uh, what should this be? This should also be a drop down list or something like that, right? And we want city. And then this will also be a list right drop down list and then we have it let's see quick list okay values will add later so we can add a state state also is a quick list right if you also want to pick from a list and I will say same thing and let me add some choices because this is something we will use often and let's say k right k for karnataka it moves so we were able to add this okay, perfect. submit right and then if you see let's say this is also a drop down list but we didn't update the list name uh, what all uh, properties it will contain for example if i have to modify that i can click from here if you see the property role form will open and we didn't give the values for this thing right we can anytime create that modify that and add the multiple values which we want i can say and i can say see am i able to modify the properties which i have created before yes or no perfect so we understood how to create properties how we can you know modify them different ways through which we can create is what we understood now you can refresh and check all those properties are we able to see those properties here refresh all data model property are you able to see all the properties which we created here age city country email id first name gender last name phone number pin code state yes or no the takeaway from today's class is understanding of what our properties are all about don't you think every application needs these properties to capture information from the user yes right perfect so and then we understood how you can create a property on display if you want a certain uh, sort of display for example if i want a drop down what should i choose you know if i want a radio button what should i choose if i want an email id what should i choose is all something which we explore today we also understood how can we create i can right click on my class you, through the view data designer i can create properties and i can add multiple properties there i can also use the i can right click on data model use the create button and create the properties i also can use this create properties button also and i can create the properties yes or no is it clear is it clear guys so these are the different approaches using which we have created properties today and what something the takeaway is that like you should be knowing 
tomorrow when I ask you how do we create properties in this, you should be able to jump into this wizard and be able to create these properties. So to do that, you should have your instance up and running. I have already shared the download on WhatsApp as well as this group. I hope you guys have already installed it and you are trying to run it locally. If you have any issues, feel free to message me or let me know I can help you out in installing that. Like I said, whoever is interested, okay, I can help you out on that. Perfect. So you can reach out to me on this number on WhatsApp and I will be helping you out. Remember, there is a plus one before the number. Plus one eight four eight two one nine nine six six nine. Okay. properties so uh, can I consider that we have understood how to create properties and modify properties in Pega today okay perfect if you guys have any questions I can take them now sure so value list is more specific with respect to uh, you know your implementation if you want to store a set of values for example uh, a right example would be uh, you if you have if you are running your uh, forex exchange or a share trading platform you want to store the list of values for past 10 days for example if you have an apple share with you and then you see that the the value of that particular share keeps fluctuating like like twice to twice in two seconds like every second it keeps changing sometimes you know or if you are using dogecoin and you see the value keeps changing every time every second depending upon how the how the volume is moving to capture such values you will need a value list sort of a property why because you are storing multiple values of a same property yes or no are you able to understand for example this keeps changing like if you see one dodge can is equal to 0 0.059 cents but actually if you see it has been moving like this like it has been different at different point of time you know to capture such such values under one single property the value of the dodge coin is one single property right yes or no do you agree like is it, does it make sense to you that is these are the scenarios where you will be using like a value list sort of properties but there is a significant difference between page list and value list that is something which you should always consider understanding you know between value list and page list for example uh, i could say uh, if you have two numbers for example sometimes a person will have two numbers right phone number one and phone number two if you have someone of one of your friend has two phone numbers which you have to save right he has two phone numbers. he got some geo also but you save under the same name but there will be two numbers haven't you seen that right so for value list you would be value list something like you know you, you have your let's say your friend's name is Lakshmi and she has phone number one okay which is something and then she also has phone number two it's a single value pro single value property but it has two values right here right yes or no at the in these cases you will go for value uh, value uh, value list okay same thing is true for value group does it make sense perfect this is the difference between page list and uh, value list value is just like single single value property only but it has two values like your phone number in your uh, in your cell phone you have multiple phone numbers sometimes some some people have multiple cell phone 
phone numbers then you will save it like this we will see these also like you know the page list and uh, uh, the single page properties we will see a lot in detail but today's class was more focused to understand how to create properties what are properties all about and how exactly you can navigate and create that within Pega. I hope that has been cl clearly uh, you know explained to you okay perfect if you guys don't have any questions i can wrap up this session thank you for joining guys <laughs>